So uh, for revision hip arthroplasty, uh, still the most common complaint that the patients would have would be pain. Uh, and so that's just like with a knee, that's, that's a common reason to come in and be worked up to see if there's a problem that needs surgery. But there are some complications that are unique to hip replacement that you don't really see with knees. One would be instability, dislocation of the prosthesis. Knee, knee replacements don't typically do that. Um, but for hips, the dislocation rate historically has been as high as 3%. And so um, that can be a challenging problem to fix because if you revise a hip replacement for dislocation or for instability problems, uh, the recurrence rate can be as high as one in three. So um, that means that it's a, sometimes a more challenging problem than, than other issues like loosening or wear or even infection. Well, typically we use the same incision as was used with the previous surgery. Uh, sometimes we can revise uh, one of the components rather than both. For instability, sometimes the problem is on the cup side, sometimes the problem is on the stem side, sometimes it's both. The difficulty with hip replacement revision surgery tends to correlate with how much bone we have to work with. If there's a lot of bone loss, uh, that leads to difficulties with muscle attachment around the prosthesis and that can make for um, future instability problems and it also can lead to weakness which can lead to a limp and, and gait issues that can take a long time to get over. Hip replacement components are modular, they come in pieces and so sometimes for wear related issues you can just replace the plastic and replace the ball and not really have to remove the implants that are attached to the bone. Those types of revisions can seem even less painful and less difficult than a first time hip replacement. Uh, but if you have to revise everything, take out the cup, take out the stem, if there's a lot of bone loss, if there's a lot of uh, difficulty with reattaching muscles to the bone, then that can lead to a, a more prolonged recovery. Most hip replacements revisions are done in the hospital setting for uh, similar reasons to knees. We have an older, typically a sicker patient population. Uh, we need more uh, varied implant inventory to deal with the more complex issues that we run into surgically. Yeah, again, the long-term issues tend to be less frequent because the prostheses that we have are better. So the wear-related issues and the loosening issues, those tend to occur later, but fortunately we see those less frequently because the prostheses are so good. Uh, but the early issues of infection, instability, um, those tend to occur um, sooner um, and they're more common these days.